Hello there YouTube and welcome to how to adjust the tail stock on the nano lathe. It is getting warm out. I wouldn't say it's 50 around here, but it's above 45. Okay, this is what we did. This is the way it is set before. I'm tired of it in my way. I hit my hand on it, trying to run my knob on the top slide. I put it this way. Okay. Now inside of here, need something to point with. Don't have my pointer. Bear with me. See these little screws? Loosen this screw, okay? These are the adjustment screws for the shim. This makes the shim go up and down. That way when it fits on here, it fits on here snugly. You might have to wobble to get it on there and put a little lube. But I've got it pretty snug, okay? Now, there's also supposed to be two in here. Well, when I took this part to work, took this part, <clears throat> they're not in there. <clears throat> they wasn't in there when I took it out. I made shims out of real thin aluminum. There are actually three little shims out of pop can in there. Okay, aluminum pop can. There's three shims in there to take the slack out of this because the bar rock. They call this the bed. It's just the bar. Okay, I thought I'd throw that in there. If you ever take this out, see if the screws are in there. There was no screws in it. It looks like the throw holes are threaded to me. Okay, back to this subject. I want to get sidetracked. That means I had to flip this around, okay? I had to take this and flip it around. Okay, now to adjust the tailstock, what I did was I put my center bit in there. Number two, center drill. Okay, don't spin this up against here and cause an accident, but spin it. Make sure that runs true. Okay, so that's true as can be. Okay, here's how you adjust this. If you loosen two of these, these two screws, one of these is more wallered out. If not, I guess you can make it that way, but this one was more wallered out, so I could adjust the tailstock this way. Okay, left and right. Look down at it from the top. This is the wrench that comes and holds your tool bit. It fits these screws. Okay, remove this mechanism and get it out of here. Remember what screw goes what side. This one I had to shave a little off because it was hitting this piece in here. Okay, so this will go side to side. One of these is going to be a little bit bigger hole. Now to go up and down, you will use these. Pretend you're at the back of the lathe. These will raise and lower. All three of these have play in them. I could raise and lower the whole thing up and down. I can tilt it and study that too. If you raise it to center it on here, okay, make sure if you raise it, you go this way, come out here and look at it like this. This is all eyeballed. So that it goes this way, lined up, and it's lined up up and down. Okay, I think we covered that all right. Make sure this is snug. Okay, make sure this is snug, this is tight. And it's right up there, almost had it touching. Okay, we're going to slide it on here. And bring it right up there. Like I said, don't run this without touching it. But you get the idea now. This will adjust back and forth. This will adjust up and down, plus tilt. So you got two different things you do with them screws. What I did is I snugged the center screw just enough where I could raise and lower it, then I tighten it, then I went up and down this way and tighten the two outside screws in the back. There's, well, there's three screws in there. Nothing in instruction tells any of this. Also this. Now, on here, I scraped the paint off and I had the pictures of it in the video, cleaning the cross slide, top slide. Do the same thing here. Take the paint off of here. I actually took the shim out of here too and scraped paint out of the corners of the raised blade. Take the paint off this. This looks smooth, so I left it. But if you see globs of the paint, take the paint off this thing. Take a flat file and go across it different directions and level this so this piece is level. There's no need to have paint underneath here. Mine looked really good, so I left it there. If you have clumps of paint, scrape it off the razor blade like I did on the other part. Take a file across it. Take a flat file. Go to the next pattern, make sure it's smooth, make sure there's no burrs out here on the side. This was really nice and smooth when I flipped it around. Looked just as good as before. Okay, now I will not hit my hand on there when I'm running that knob. 
This is small, I have big hands. I can reach around the back to do this. I can stand up when I want to move the tail stock. So I think we covered it. We'll include a couple pictures of how good this looks lined up. I'm not done completely yet. I guess until you test it. I haven't got any micrometer yet, but I do have to lay the piece in here, check to make sure this is all even, because there's really no adjustment on the headstock on this machine. There just is not. This all bolts to here. Like I said, the only adjustment here would be this bar up and down. There's no adjustment back and forth, because this tightens up. Make sure if you tighten it, don't strip it, but tighten it snug, very snugly. This is mounted to the bench now, to the desk, I should say. Got rid of that little board. Then you have that little pedestal stand that goes here. It's tapered so it goes in here. You put pressure on it, and this keeps this from doing this. It's still going to be a little bit shaky when I run it. You'll probably see it in some videos. The machine may shake a small amount because this tin, there's tin under this rubber plastic stuff. It will flex, but it's a lot better. I've already run it and tried it. So that about covers it. So I'll take a couple snapshots, uh, different directions there. So you get the idea one more time. Like I said, make sure that's on there snug. Make sure I'm zoomed out here. This will adjust back and forth. One of these holes will be bigger. I think if I remember right, it was the front one. These will be your up and down plus your tilt. I used the middle one first. I got the height that I wanted, then I tilt it back and forth, and I got out here and eyeballed it. It's just all eyeballed. I don't expect this to be a super precision lathe for what the cost is and what it is. But I want this as good as I can get it. I'm not a picky person. I just know stuff should be lined up. Can't run a lathe if it's crooked. You can't have your tail stock off this way, this way, this. You can't do that. That don't work. And I noticed that when I first got this. I test drilled into a piece of steel that I know was perfectly straight. It did not want to hit the exact center. It wanted to either lift up, go to the side. So that's when I started adjusting it. So I had to do all this again to turn this around. So... Just remember your screws there. Remember to loosen that center screw before you adjust these. You don't have to have it real loose. Loosen it up so when you adjust these screws, it's going to bring this plate in and out. That will make this tighter on the bar. So, thanks for watching that. Comments are welcome. Any questions, I'll do my best to ask them if I didn't cover something. And I guess that's the end of this one.